Hi, this is Drunk Crafter, and we're going to have a look at the latest design of my self sorting chest room. Um, I've designed this around modules that are six blocks long, so it goes from, say, this post past one chest, another post, and then another double chest. Um, with modules like this, you can join them together to create a longer um, chest room. Um, with the one that I'm going to show you today, it's set up with a furnace room and also just a plain chest room. It's set up so that you can place all of your items in one side and it'll smelt the cobble to give you smooth stone. Or if you place items in the other side, everything goes through and the cobblestone comes back up as cobblestone. Um, you can either do this by putting things in the chests, let it drop through, do it on the other side as well or you can just drop them straight in if you want it to be faster. Put some coal in too because we want to do some smelting. Okay, so let's have a look. As you can see it's set up so that the chest room is the highest point. Um, underneath that we've got a lot of droppers that are bringing items up from the sorting system at the bottom. As I said before, it's designed so that it's in pieces six blocks long. So you can see the orange here is the length of this module for the sorting system. Um, I've just got red bits on the end to show where it's coming back around. Um, okay, so the way it works is that once the items come down into the water trough, they're going over ice um, at the end of the water with a sign, let it slide over the ice and into the next lot of water so that they can continue around. Um, the hoppers are set up with 21 of a particular item that's not really going to end up in the system in them, and then one item that's the um, block that you want to separate out. So I'm using 18 flowers and then three single flowers to give me 21, and then the 22nd item is the dirt and then every item above 22 um, will send a signal. So every piece of dirt that comes over makes the hopper send a signal, goes through the comparator which feeds back down and then through a repeater to a torch which lets this hopper accept one through then it continues through that hopper into the dropper actually on that one it goes to there um, and then I'll have a pulsing signal coming down here and going up through the center of um, a stack of hoppers. So on this end, because it's just going to the chests, at the top of the stack of hoppers, uh, which one were we doing that one? Um, it comes out at a right angle, goes into a hopper, which then pushes it into another dropper taking it further up which goes straight into the bottom of the chest. It's not switched on at the moment. Um, then down the other end we've got the smelting set up. Um, works partially the same. The hoppers and then the separators and sorters and then gets pushed up so on the smelting side the items come up from underneath through the droppers go into more hoppers that then brings them out um, into more droppers to push them up further then spat out at 90 degree angle into hoppers which then take it down into the top of a furnace um, the furnace also gets a supply of coal so the sorter that the coal comes from outputs it here, goes over the top um, above a chest minecart. Um, I've got another switch that powers a powered rail here which sends the cart around um, through this set of points and then it continues around and around here going over a whole lot of hoppers that are underneath the rails. Um, <coughs> so the idea is to let the cart stay there until it's been filled with a couple of stacks of coal 
then you can let the cart go round and round and as it goes round it goes over these hoppers two on each side um, which then feed up through droppers and end up going straight into the back of a furnace which lets everything get cooked I've also included a chicken farm on the side of this one just because you can cook the chicken easily um, so if you were to come in here with a sword, kill a few chickens their feathers and uncooked chicken will drop down underneath here then I've got another sorting system down here that one will be feathers, nothing in there at the moment then this one takes out the uncooked chicken pushes it up through hoppers again um, moving around a little bit and then puts it into the system from the top the same as it does with the other smeltable items um, and I've also got it set up so that at the end of this um, water channel your eggs will come through go through that dropper uh, sorry hopper into that dropper which is almost full now chuck that one in um, and when the system's active that'll start pushing those up it goes to dispenser shoots it out into this wall and then new chickens fall down there um, so it basically replenishes itself as it goes as well as the chests and the hole to put items into the system from inside the chest room um, you can also set this up so that it's for mining where you have your mine cart down in your mine um, the sorting system can be down at the mine level and then just use droppers to go all the way up to the surface to your chest room um, basically all you'd need to do is put your items into the mine cart select whether you want it to go to cobblestone or smooth stone at the moment it's going to smooth stone change the power to the um, underneath that rail so that it turns that would go to cobblestone then send the cart that goes over some uh, hoppers there goes into a dropper which will spit them out into that water path um, when you put the items in and you want your, coal to, your cobble to be smelted um, the system above feeds it down into this one and outputs it here so that it passes over this hopper um, which takes out the cobble and then pushes it up to the smelting system um, everything else passes over and goes through the normal um, sorters that they go through if you just put it down the tube or in the other um, chest and let's see how it runs I've thrown all of my items into the system already so now I'm going to turn it on it's, I'm going to apologize for it getting a little bit chunky um, it doesn't run terribly well when I'm running fraps um, so we're just using um, this redstone block on a piston with some um, repeaters in a loop instead of a larger clock um, this is a lot more compact and it's pushing power in a pulse to a couple of different um, systems this first one goes up the center of all the droppers um, for both of the modules then I've got it going out to the sides to power the droppers that are on the outside of the system um, such as the ones going up to the smelting um, and I think it also does the ones yep, going into the bottom of the chests um, what this is also doing as this is running is pushing coal up here coming down into the minecart so we've got coal there we'll chuck a little bit more in um, <clears throat> because the system uses droppers to put the items into the water stream um, they're only getting spat out one at a time so it takes a little longer you can also set it up if you drop your items down the hole um, then the whole stack will go into a dropper uh, 
into a hopper, sorry, um, to be sorted. And if there's more than one stack of a particular item, it'll just keep going round until there's room in the hopper. Then it goes in. Um, so we'll put the coal on. Start the minecart. So he's off and going. Um, as well as powering um, where it was sitting before, it's also changed the direction of the track there so that the minecart can just go round and round and round and round and round. So that's putting um, coal into the system, which then goes up to the furnaces. Um, when I switch that off, it'll go back to sitting underneath its hopper so that it can get filled. So that's gone back there. Um, and the system's running. Any eggs should be getting thrown here. Yep, they're all gone. And we should be getting our items coming up. Dirt's already come up, so probably the cobble has as well. And we've got some smelting going on, our smooth stone's getting um, delivered. Getting our gold, iron, and haven't put any chicken in. We can do that. Um, not going to kill the chickens, I'll just throw some in. It's easier. Okay, so put that in. See how fast it um, comes up here which will be able to tell because the furnace will turn on. Um, I've just put a second furnace next to the ones that's pretty quick um, next to the ones that are in use to even it out. If I had a cobble wall or something there it won't look very balanced. Um, so that'll keep running. Start cooking that. And there you have it. Self-sorting chest room. Um, I'm going to make a video showing how the modules are built. Um, as I said, it's sort of in these four chest sections. So really you could make it as long as you want. Um, you probably wouldn't want to run more than one furnace section because you don't really need it. Um, but you could have it set up for all different wool colours, um, all different types of wood. There's a lot of things you could use it for all different um, farming, like seeds and watermelon and wheat. Um, a lot of things that you could use it to sort. Um, it takes time to pump items through because they're going one at a time through the hoppers and droppers. Um, but you could switch it on, or fill it up, switch it on, go and do something else and then come back and it should all be done for you. Um, so yeah, that's my system.